Hello everyone and welcome to Nice Quirk Pal. I'm Jim and today we are here at Japan in Epcot. We're gonna look at the whole pavilion. We're gonna see some drummers, we're gonna look at some food stands, and we're gonna have dinner in Tepanado and we're gonna do the whole hibachi thing. That is so much fun. Um, I don't know a lot about Japan. I know they make good Godzilla movies. They probably made my camera. Other than that, I don't really know, but we'll go check out uh, the things they have inside. They got a cool little museum area. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's take a look. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Japan Pavilion and this performance by Matsuriza. going up to this place. It's very daunting, but I'm so hungry, so I have the motivation. Up here is Tepanado on the left and Tokyo Dining on the right. Tepanado is the, is the side with the hibachi. The drink menu here includes Japanese beers, sake, and lots of Japanese-inspired mixed cocktails. You can start your meal if you'd like with some appetizers or some sushi, and then choose the meats that are going to go into your dinner. Every good meal starts with a beer. My Japanese beer is Kirin. Dinner was fantastic. Tep Dinner at Tepanado was fantastic. Tepanado is the pronunciation. We did ask uh, one of the folks that worked there the proper way to say it, because we've heard it a couple of different ways. Um, uh, but anyway, I digress. Dinner was fantastic. If you've ever had hibachi, you kind of know what to expect. It's uh, not the most adventurous dining, I suppose, but uh, it was really delicious. We 
Don and I had the uh, steak and chicken combo and a couple of good drinks. It was a great time. Uh, we met some uh, people that were on their vacations because everybody sits at a table and shares, shares the show. Um, we met one gentleman who said he's been eating there since 1993 and all I could think was, why does it take you so long to eat? Let's go take a walk around and see what else we can show you. That sounds like a great idea. There's a lot to see here. So here's their Japan gift shop. Pretty cool. So inside the Japan pavilion is this cool kawaii Japan's pop culture, excuse me, their cute culture museum. It's a display. It's a cool area to go see. Let's go take a look. It is also listed here as a collection of Japanese arts. Let's go take a look. Here's our first giant display. It's a melty go round. I don't understand what that means. But it looks like it's stuffed with things. Toys or candy, I don't know what it is. Yeah. All designed inside of a melty girl. I don't know art, but I like it. Kawaii means cute. All right. So we're looking at cute stuff. Here are some cute robots. Even robots can be cute. This apparently is what it lo looks like inside a person's room in Japan. Everything is cute, but very small. But it has big windows. So there's all kinds of Hello Kitty and Pikachu stuff in there. It's really kind of fun. It's easy to see why some of this fun stuff translates well into American culture. It is just fun. Look at all these fun guys. So here in the gift shop of Japan, there are so many cool things to look at and try. There are all kinds of delicious Japanese treats and candies, as well as unique souvenirs. This one goes on for a while, so we'll take a good look around the store. All right, so apparently, you can't really tell from the outer packaging, but if you check the ingredients, you can find out that this is hot squid. And this there's, is not. There's regular squid and then there's hot. It comes in a variety of flavors. This is also squid. There's all kinds of squid. They do seem to like their seafood. How about some crabs? Oh, that, that does not look good. I'm sure some people like it. I'm, I'm sure it's a delicacy. They have all kinds of cool potato chips, yes. hot and spicy. Some things have English descriptions on them, like this uh, potato chip guy just giving us the finger. But um, but some stuff Ooh. is is just labeled in Japanese. Potato shrimp. shrimp chips, baked shrimp chips. So they're the healthier versions. Wheat and both snacks. Hot garlic. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. These look like hot fries. They kind of do. Hot and tasty, hot chili. Oh, potato sticks. Potato sticks. You'll have to let me know if you find anything you're willing to eat. Because mm. this, this is all a little weird. I'm sure it's fine if you like the flavors. I'm sure it is. These are potato chips. Hot chili potato hot chips. Hot chili potato chips. See, that sounds like it might be okay. For our, for our lame American palates. I don't know what this is, other than potato chips. 
some sort. And now the other thing too is is that this is like four fifty for a bag of potato chips. So yeah, I think this is just plain. We're not really sure. A lot of things in here to to decipher. That is for sure. This is like chair chips. <laughs> they do. The bag is pink. It must be something sweet. I don't know what it is. Isn't this where they have a lot of different flavors of Kit Kats too? Yeah, let's go find those. All right. So there's all kinds of candy here, including a variety of Kit Kats, and some of them don't even really say. Oh, cheesecake, cheesecake flavor. flavor. <gasps> that actually sounds really good. It does. I was about to say all their flavors were weird and that you can't tell by looking at the bag and the very first one looks amazing. Uh, here's a good example though. This one, um, I don't know what it is. Doesn't say. It does say have a break, have a Kit Kat in English, which is pretty funny. The ingredients say black mini biscuit. Maybe it's just like really Might be dark, dark chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. We're this, just guessing. This is probably matcha. Mm hmm. Because that's looks, what that looks like. It does look like that. Yep, green tea. Okay. There's a darker one. Maybe this is matcha. Right so just get yep, one of these. This boxes. is the matcha. That's yeah. the matcha. Okay, so green tea and matcha, two different flavors. This is strawberry. Strawberry. Looks like it's Based strawberry. On the yep. Yep. Strawberry. More strawberry. More strawberry. More matcha latte. Matcha latte. And look at this milk, milk tea. tea. And in different flavors of milk tea. milk tea. You know what they don't have? Regular Kit Kats. Nope. Maybe this is regular. <laughs> Maybe, how know. would we know? Yeah. They also have different flavors of the Pockies. Pockies, yes. They like Pocky. We know some people that like their Pocky. And look at all the different flavors they have. Matcha almond crush, strawberry, cookies and cream, banana, strawberry, chocolate. There's a lot of candy in here. And another fun fact is you get a discount in here. Whether it's CDC or annual pass holder, I'm not sure what the discount is. Sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 20 or 30. That is true. Because it's in a gift shop, it's considered merchandise. So if you get a discount on merchandise, you can get a discount on treats. Very pretty tea sets. That is a pretty tea set. What do you suppose a pretty tea set costs? I don't know, looks like it's all random prices. This one looks like it's, if this is it, it's about $70. That's actually not terrible for a nice set like that. I like these guys because they just never stop moving and I don't know why. Solar? I'm thinking it's solar, yeah. But they just keep going. These are lucky cats and they are pretty cool. Little tiny ones. Statues, moving guys. Look at all these cats. Waving their paws at me. I don't understand, but I like them. Cool little Buddha boards where you can draw whatever you want. Look at that. Everyone in Japan is a fan of the channel. Nice work, pal. Like I said, this gift shop goes on for days. I can see all kinds of different sections, including modern Japan and Tokyo Pop. There's all kinds of traditional clothing as well as t-shirts inspired by Japan. And all kinds of bags and clocks. And behind me I hear the drums. The drums of the oysters. So over here at this station you can buy an oyster and they're gonna open it for you and find the pearl. And it's a cute little show to make a big deal out of opening your oyster and finding 
a tiny pearl. There's something in every oyster, I guess. Sometimes it's a big pearl, sometimes it's... A, a different color. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's a kidney stone. I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Who knows what you'll get? It's a mystery. Back at the front of the store is more of the pop stuff. Kind of like the stuff from the museum. Fun toys, t-shirts, action figures, bags. Including these bags that kind of look like lounge flies. Katsura Grill which we'll go take a look at. Obviously, we're not gonna eat again because we ate a lot of food, but this is a cool little place up on the hill that I don't think anybody really pays much attention to, but they have a lot of cool things. They got sushi and noodles and wings and um, just a whole bunch of little treats. We'll go take a quick peek inside. It's right up here on the hill. So right before we go in, we can see that they've got a lot of cool outdoor seating. Uh, they have some over there next to the entrance, just to the left. They've got some nicely shaded quiet spots. It's very cool back here. Inside, this is just pretty much a quick service type counter. But you can see up top they have sushi and ramen, teriyaki dishes, chicken salad. They've got drinks and desserts. Of, of, of pop culture in, and saw Pikachu and Hello Kitty and all those guys um, and we saw the drummers they were so talented and it is a great show and they, it goes on like every hour see if you're walking through the showcase you're bound to see them playing um, let us know in the comments what you think of the Japan Pavilion we're gonna visit some other pavilions and make some other videos so uh thanks for joining us we look forward to seeing you at the next one and thanks to dawn for helping nice work pal nice work pal let's check out the other areas a six-piece ninja suit my ninja suit only has five pieces.